welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look using mostly drugstore products. I didn't use all drugstore products because I don't have so much drugstore products. I have more high end so it couldn't be a complete drugstore tutorial but it was mostly and it's, what is this? More than easy to do. I really think you can accomplish this look in like 15 minutes, which is perfect for back to school. I remember back in high school, I was the exception to the rule. I would get myself up at 5 a.m. I think my bus came at like 6.45, 7, I want to say. I could be completely wrong because this was like 2009. Well, that's when I graduated, so I mean this was like 2007 and 8. Like it's hard to remember back, which is really sad. But um, yeah, I can remember getting up at like 5 and I would do a half hour of Pilates in my bedroom. Crazy, right? And then I would like take a shower, get ready. And I would go all out. Like I would put hot rollers in my hair. I would curl my hair, do my makeup. But I think my hair took the longest. Like I didn't wear like a full face glam makeup because back then... That wasn't really in, like contouring and winged eyeliner. I don't remember that ever being a thing. Like, I don't remember that being, like, big until a couple years ago when I left high school. So I feel like now being in high school must be so different. Like, these girls must be glamified. Like, who can get the most glam? <laughs> right? Like, seriously, if you're in high school, let me know in comments below. And let me know if it's like that now. Like, glam, glamazons, like girls with wings that are on fleek and eyebrows on fleek who can have the best eyebrows. I feel like it must be so different. But anyway, yeah, it's like a really easy makeup look and perfect for when you're on the go and you don't want to spend a lot of time doing your makeup because I know some of us don't like to get out of bed early in the morning but still want to look put together. So this is like the perfect look. Um, I would definitely rock this uh, in school because it's just easy and, and, and you don't want to spend like forever on your makeup then this is the go-to look and you still look really awake and ready for the day. So if you guys would like to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Thanks guys. <laughs> okay, so to get this look started, I'm going to start off with my brows and I'm going to be using my Anastasia Brow Pencil in Chocolate, I believe. After that's done, we're going to go in uh, with our Too Faced Hangover RX uh, Replenishing Face Primer. I love this primer because it has coconut water, electrolytes, and probiotics, and it's just nourishing your skin and adding in anything that you might be missing, and it just adds so much moisture. I love this primer. For my foundation, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal True Match in Natural Buff and sun beige mixed together to create the perfect shade and I'm using a damp beauty blender just to blend this out. I primed my lids using my Urban Decay Primer and now I'm going in with my Pixi Palette in Silver Sky. And what I'm going to do is start with the top shade. It's like a shimmery white. And I'm going to use this all over my lid. This is just going to help to open up the eyes and make me look more awake. And now for the crease, I'm going to take the fourth shade down and put that directly into my crease and then just blend it out really, really well. Now I'm going to highlight and conceal using my Urban Decay Naked Skin in concealer in the lightest shade. Uh, I don't have a drugstore concealer, so that's why I use this. And you guys can use any concealer of your choice. If that's drugstore, then so be it. And I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender again just to blend this out. Now to warm up the face, I'm going to be using my NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium. And I'm going to take this Hourglass brush, and it's almost like a kabuki brush, and just blend this all over my forehead 
and then down the sides of my face and I'm going to kind of use it to contour it into the hollows and uh, add some depth to make my cheekbones pop a little bit more. Since I'm not contouring with the contour palette, I'm just going to use the bronzer to create a subtle contour. And then I'm going to be taking this NYX blush. I'm not sure of the name, but I'll have it in the bottom bar for you guys. And since this is almost like a shimmery iridescent blush, it acts as a highlight. So you can totally skip using your highlighter and just use the blush, which obviously saves time. And then I'm just taking my Makeup Forever HD powder and setting my concealer. You can use, again, whatever powder you have. And then I'm just using my Givenchy translucent powder to set my face. Again, you can use any powder that you have. And I'm just going to use my Fix Plus to set the face. And then I'm going to use the Cover Girl. And this is the Super Sizer. I'm going to use this as my mascara. I always do my lower lashes first and then work my way to my upper lashes. I really love this mascara. I feel like it's like less clumpier because of the brush design. And it really does make your lashes longer and fuller. Now I'm taking this tinted lip balm from Pixi. I forget the name, but again, I'll have it listed below. And that will complete this look. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, or requests, please leave it below. And until next time, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye! Okay, so I'm just going to take a pretty big section like this and then I'm going to take my curling iron and run it through a few times and then curl it and hold it and then leave obviously the rest of the